Well, have you hit a pothole lately? It is pothole season. Let's get to traffic anchor Jason Luber to talk about this. Jason, it is always the worst feeling when you hear that, <laughs> when you go over that pothole. What causes all of this? <laughs> yeah, because you know that your car is going to be partially damaged because of it. Maybe wreck your tires, you wreck your alignment. Well, it actually starts with water, and it's a water that mainly comes from the snow melt this time of year. It gets into these small spaces in the concrete of the asphalt, and then it's temperature. The water gets into those cracks. It freezes, expands, expands those cracks, and then the plows and the uh, vehicles that go across these areas then further damage the roadways and then you have these well bigger potholes these are some of the potholes that were in my neighborhood recently i'm starting to see them around my uh, neighborhood are you seeing them around your neighborhood out in aurora they're seeing them too we asked aurora's street operations manager about the potholes out there and he says the pothole season this year started slowly because it's been so dry but the recent storms have changed all that and if you see a pothole aurora wants to know about it pothole in itself is one type of problem, but if you're constantly going back to repair potholes in the same area, that may be indicative of a pavement problem. And so we'll put that on the list to maybe uh, do a little more extensive repair um, in the spring or summer. Now, any day it's not snowing, Aurora has three trucks going out checking for those potholes. Most cities do the same thing. In the first three months of the year, Aurora has already filled, get this, 2,000 potholes. All right, thank you, Jason.